Hello, my name is Mackenzie Tymon, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the education system. The education system, renovation time. Why do students continuously struggle in school? Some say the root of the issue lies in laziness, lack of comprehension, or a bad teacher. However, has anyone looked at the education system itself as the root of the issue? The education system has been comprised of strict standards, a single method of teaching, and hours of homework based upon the same principle every night. Sure, there have been a few rebel-style schools, but most students end up going to your run-of-the-mill public school, which means the same learning for their scholar years. So, the question remains, is it time for the education system to get a redo? FSAs, FCATs, SATs, all forms of standardized testing in Florida. Other states follow a similar pattern, meaning that, meaning that most of America learns via a standards-based textbook, which is totally fine. If, of course, you plan on having a job where all you do is figure out how many watermelons a man buys in a month if he buys 50 watermelons a day. What happened to life skills? Balancing a checkbook, managing finances, Things that are required for daily life have vanished from the curriculums, replaced with things that most people won't need to know for their career choices. The explanation given for this is that students will need to know calculus or how to build a rocket for their career paths. But is it actually a vital thing? Several parents have commented and complained that their children feel frustrated that they're unable to learn what they actually need for their chosen career and instead have to sit through hours of lectures on completely unrelated topics. Not only that, but they're also being taught in ways that don't make sense to each individual. Learning styles. These three different methods of preferred learning have become quite popular in recent years. Others say it's about time schools switch to teaching learners based on their specific type. The three styles are visual, which includes those who have an affinity for written words, drawings, and diagrams. Auditory, for those who learn via songs, repetitions of words, and reading to others. And kinesthetic, also known as tactile learning, helpful to anyone who learns by trying it out themselves, moving around, and building models. So why is it that schools refuse to use these tools if they're so beneficial to the classroom? Mostly because teachers have their own teaching method, being strictly by the book or fluid and adaptable. This can make them obstinate, obstinate and unwilling to change their familiar habits, thus aiding the downfall of the brightest and most gifted students. Some schools, however, have thoroughly embraced learning styles and even require testing to determine which category a student falls in. These leaders among education often produce the most adaptive and, and brightest students who usually end up in prestigious universities with their dream jobs. There is another side to this, though. It'd be a lie to say that if schools switch to become more adaptive towards their learning methods, all would be utopian and perfect. Many people claim that the only reason a smart student would fail is because of a lack of drive, laziness, and no effort put into learning. This is a sad reality in many cases. Some students with highly gifted minds and amazing potentials don't have any cares about their schools, their future, and have very low self-standards. That doesn't mean that all students are like this, and the facts cannot be ignored. There is a long list of cold evidence that the schooling system is to blame, be it a lack of learning styles, be it a lack of learning styles, implementation of standards, or relentless teachers, students deserve a better chance to have a brighter and healthier future. These issues will continue down the generation unless someone stands up to change things for the better. We owe it to the hardworking, potentially world-changing young minds that hold our futures in their hands. If we want to change today, we need to improve tomorrow. Thank you very much.